We are remounting a, a little excerpt of your operas, and uh, two of them, the yeah. Yang yeah. and the Marquis de Sade. The full title actually is not the Marquis de Sade, but it's 120, 120 songs, songs for the Marquis de Sade. Well, let's start from that, because I think the title is already intriguing enough, and uh, uh, can you just give us an idea about the, the structure of and the piece, and how yeah. you kind of, uh, you know, in a way we are presenting a snapshot of the, the piece. Yes. Um, well, the, the idea of the piece, the title, 120 Songs of the Marquis de Sade, comes from one of Sade's works, which was 120 Days of Sodom. And um, Peter Hinton actually came up with the idea of that we would do 120 short pieces. And um, I mean, I think we both think kind of similarly about form. And like, I just thought that was a fantastic idea, even though kind of like daunting idea of 120 <laughs> little pieces. The, um, one, the thing about that opera is that um, I did this with Peter Hinton, and um, we had this idea of doing an opera about the Marquis de Sade, and it was originally done for Modern Baroque Opera in Vancouver that was primarily doing early music and early operas, and somehow the, this idea really appealed to Kate Hutchinson, who um, ran that company, and she, uh, so she basically commissioned the opera from us, and we went ahead and did it. And when we started, we had no idea really what we were going to do. We didn't know. We, we read a lot of Sade's work. And, probably most of it. And um, the first thing that Peter said when we got together to talk about it, he said, whatever we do, we are not doing the biography of Marquis de Sade. And that's, in fact, what we ended up doing. Mm -hmm. And the approach we decided to take was to, um, um, to do the whole thing as sort of black humor is what we decided to do. And, and so even the story, the things we did in his life were kind of, a lot of the scenes are very funny. And, um, and that was the approach we decided to take. Yeah. As opposed to the gang that as a sort of a form of different structure, I think is interesting and I hope that uh, in spite of the fact that we're presenting, as I said, snapshots of the, of the larger work, this will come out. The, the Marquis de Sade, uh, for me, <clears throat> in kind of a panel form, organized on this section that follow one into each other, while the gang is a sort of a more narrative connected to Tom Cohn's yes. <clears throat> libretto. Yes. And so a very different approach. Yeah. Also musically, I think they're slightly different uh, yeah. in, in the evolving yeah. of your personal style. Yeah, the, the, gang, um, the gang was basically, well, the 120 songs really is, much of it is written really as songs, like they're little songs, whereas the, the gang is more of a through composed kind of thing and, and um, there, there aren't many places that you can sort of excerpt as a song. And um, I guess in terms of the musical style, uh, the gang is, you know, a kind of modern story about paranoia and difficult human relationships. And, and the music I wrote for that was completely, absolutely no reference to earlier music or anything. Whereas the, the 120 songs from the Marquis de Sade, I did use uh, kind of fake historical, some fake historical things. And the Marquis de Sade, as it goes on, it sort of starts in this fake historical and then it ends up being quite modern music by the end. Um, whereas the gang is totally kind of modern, loud, metallic, yeah. um, and then the gang, everybody's amplified, the singer's amplified, and everything. So it's, it's a bit different that way.